Well, 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 we're back again. Here we are, <laughs> back with that hard-hitting Neopets content. Um, I do have a little bit of a cold, so my voice is kind of uh, scritchy, scratchy. The weather, the weather is changing here. We're, we're going into fall, and every time the weather changes, my body's like, oh, this is different. I better get sick. Um, so hopefully I won't be like clearing my throat every five seconds. But anyway, we're back. Here we are. Um, <clears throat> oh, there it goes already. Uh, first, I just want to say I did not expect <laughs> like my first video to, to get any sort of views really. Um, like I said, I had been telling, I had been talking about Neopets, and it was just like fixated. I was fixated on it, and I was telling my friends like, I'm just gonna make a YouTube channel and talk about Neopets, like kind of as a joke. But then I just did it, and I thought it was gonna be a thing where, you know, like I made the video, made a few videos, and I would show my friends, and we would all laugh and like move on. Um, but my first video got like way more views. Than I think. Right now it has like 800, 800 something and um, I've got like 60 subscribers. Like I just was not expecting that at all. So, and so many nice comments too. And just people being like, I love playing Neopets. And just like, everybody was so nice. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. Like I just, I'm still kind of like, wait, what's, what happened here? Um, but what that tells me is that people are playing Neopets and they're interested in Neopets videos and stuff and I think that's so neat. So, um, yeah, really cool. Thank you to everybody who liked and left a nice comment and if you subscribe, like, thank you so much. So, okay, so we've got some updates to show you. Uh, well first I made my Gellert. Um, her name is Dalme because she's going to be spotted eventually and she's going to be a Dalmatian. Very clever. I know you don't have to tell me. I know. Um, but this. <gasps> da, 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 here he is. Um, somebody who saw my video. I don't. I'm not going to say their username because I don't know if they would want me to. But um, somebody gifted me the the poison taco body and the tail and i <clears throat> when i saw it like when i saw the notification i i opened it up and i was like wait what like <laughs> somebody somebody just gave this to me like i i i was so just like what what is what and i'm not gonna lie I kind of got a little teary-eyed for a second because I'm a big giant baby and I was just like blown away by how nice that was. <clears throat> so thank you so much. Um, I, I I messaged them and I was like, oh my God, like, thank you. I, I want to send you something back, but I don't like have anything <laughs> of, of value yet. Like I'm still kind of just getting going with all this. And they're like, no, 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 I just, you know, like they're so nice and thank you so much. Diablo Rex looks fly as hell. I can't wait to collect the other two pieces to this and give him his full fit. Um, and also, uh, somebody, another person, gifted me um, a baby paintbrush. And I was like, what? What? Like, what is going on? <laughs> so thank you so much to that person, too. And again, I was like, I sent them a message and I was like, oh my god, thank you. Like, I just, it's crazy. Um, but I just want to say, if you watch a video a video that I put out, and even if you love it, even if you're like, wow, this is the, wow, I love this so much, please don't feel like you need to send me something. Like, it's, that's not, <laughs> um, just please, please don't. Like, it's, that's not why I'm, I'm here. Like, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm just, I'm just here to vibe and make chill videos. So, like. But thank you so much to the people that did. That was so sweet. I am, yeah. So, um, let's, let me, who else has an update? Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> Megillah Cuddles got a little, got a little something. And this is the most 
relatable thing I've ever seen. Wake up, babe. New literally me just dropped. Um, we've we've all been him in this moment. In fact, I would I would say I'm him in this moment like 95% of the time. Uh, like this is me when I go to the grocery store and I see that eggs are seven dollars for a dozen. Uh, <laughs> this is this is me when I turn the news on on any given day at any given time. This this is me when I realize I have 40 years before I might possibly be able to retire. Like this is this is all of us. I love him. I do want to make him um, transparent eventually. Um, <clears throat> But I think this is just perfect. The way he is right now. I love it. Just look at him. He's like, what the fuck? What is anything? Uh, yeah. So that's, that's McGilla Cuddles' update. Um, oh, and okay. So since I got the baby paintbrush, we have a new addition to the fam. Um, this, this is Phoebe. She's my baby Nemo. Um, got it, Phoebe, because she's an amphibian. I know, again, so clever. I know. Uh, Phoebe, I mean, just what what can you say about, about her? She is everything pure in the world, everything good in the world. Um, I think Phoebe could one day change change the world. I really do. I don't know how, but I think I think she can do it. She's so cute. I can't. Um, and then <clears throat> So I did like a total overhaul on Runksoid. Um, he was, he had a little mecha suit before, uh, but I saw, um, he's so, he's so cute. I saw this like orchid mantis, wait. Uh, yeah, these like orchid, orchid rookie helmet and armor set and everything. And I saw the helmet and I was like, Oh my god, it's an orchid mantis! And I, I had to have it, so I I um, bought the whole set. <laughs> and, and then I also, I painted him. Um, I painted him speckled, which was kind of silly because you can't even tell with all this shit all over him. Um, let me show you. Let's see if I can. Uh, yeah, so he's like, like a mint green with little white spots and um you can't tell when he's got all the stuff on but that's okay he i i know when he knows that he's speckled he's uh he's a bougie pet now um and yeah so that's uh my updates on what's going on with my my pets um oh i want to show you something else too so uh Neopets, every pet has a, a page you can like, when you look them up, you can see. So this is like what it looks like. Just a basic, just a basic page, right? But you can, this is so nostalgic. I hope they never get rid of this part of Neopets because I just remember being like 12 and like furiously typing uh, on my computer, like crunching code and like creating, you can create custom HTML code for your pet lookup pages and you can make them look crazy and like wild and they can have themes and everything. Um, so I've done that with a few of my pets uh, <clears throat> and I'm going to show them to you. <laughs> this is, this is just like my childhood. It, ugh, I love it so much. So this is Amethyst's page. Look at how cute. She's got a, I just, you can like, you can change um, all of this. Like you can make this part custom and like, I'll, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um, I've tried a few things and it really just like breaks the whole thing. So, but I did figure out, I did, I did remember and kind of figure out how to do like a basic header and background and stuff. But <clears throat> I gave a few of my pets, he's, he's like custom. Oh my God, look at I did not I I made this in mid journey and I know there's like you know controversy and stuff with like AI art and I, I totally understand it like I totally get it from like a professional's like a professional artist's perspective like I hope this isn't I don't want to like offend anybody I'm just I just made it to make my pets page look a little cooler like 
I'm not doing anything with it. I'm never going to enter the, there's, um, you can draw pictures of your pets and then enter them in beauty contests. And then, um, the Neo Pets team will like choose, choose winners and then you get a trophy and I think maybe Neo points too. I'm not sure. I'm never going to enter these in obviously because I didn't make them, but I do love that they add a little bit of, a little bit of spice to my <laughs> pets pages. So. Uh, this is Emethys page, and then I made one for uh, Infernox. He's got this like little, oh, I don't want to show that yet. You know, these little like flames, like, oh, what a bad boy, like, ugh. And then this is his picture. I mean, I really, I I don't, I hope this is okay. Like, I don't want to, it's, ugh, it's just so cool. I love him so much. I love this picture. Uh, that's, that's him, you know, like, that's, he's just a, badass dude like man okay so that's infernox's little custom page and then we've got <clears throat> venevix her page oh she's a pet pet she's got her little her little apple spider um and then her picture oh my god it's so look at the little apple spider on her head uh <clears throat> this is just beautiful it's i love it i love it so much um, and then the last one that I have, I haven't done it for all my pets, but a few of them, I'm, I'm working on it. And then I gave Runxoid uh, his little custom page. Um, <clears throat> and he is a pet pet too. Blueberry, the Woodland Snickle Beast. I, I think I got this, I got this as something from one of the, one of the dailies. I don't remember which one. Um, but this is his picture. This is, Jeez, wow, um, so cool, I love it so much. I don't know, maybe somebody's gonna be like, that's creepy, and it is creepy, but like in the best way. And that's that's him, that's what he really looks like, this guy. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, so those are my pet lookup pages that I did. Um, I have so many tabs. Oh, and I wanted to show you too. So he's an orchid mantis, so um, they, actually exist in real life and they're so cool and this is what they look like and they're they're beautiful oh my god bing microsoft bing yeah i'm using internet explorer i i have to use it for at work at my job and i'm just so used to using internet explorer that this is my browser of choice and that's just that's just how it is so don't blow up my spot bing um but yeah look at you know like these actually exist out in the world they're real creatures and they're so gorgeous. I love them. So that's Runxoid. That's what that's what he is. Um Okay, so I think that's all I wanted I needed to show you for my pet updates. Um <clears throat> Oh, there's something that I wanted to show you in my last video. I um I went around Neopia Central and I kind of pointed out some some things to check out, but there's, I missed something and I didn't even know about this. Um, where is it? Oh, it's, oh, shoot, it's me. No, 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 no. <clears throat> um, so if you go to the pharmacy, is it the pharmacy? Yeah, it is. So if you go to the pharmacy, um, they have all these different things that you can, um, they're like wearables, so your pet can wear these. And they're like, um, like disability representation things. And we've got like, we've got a walker, we've got a uh, walking cane with spikes. Oh, fancy. Um, we've got, okay, and I think there's there's definitely more than this too, but they must just be like sold out. A service pet pet, oh my God, that's so cute. Um, there's more than this too, I think. Um, but yeah, for like, you know, disability representation. And I, th representation is so important. And I saw that and I was like, that's really cool. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I just discovered that. Um, yeah, okay, so this is gonna be a dailies video. We're gonna do our dailies today. Um, and those are things that you do every day. <laughs> every day um and this is what this is like what's gonna get you neo points what's gonna 
get you your your money, your coin, your your, your cheese. Your, I don't, do they call it? I don't think it's cheese. What is it bread? I don't, I don't think it's cheese. But <laughs> this is what's gonna get you money. So let's do our dailies, shall we? Okay, so I'm just gonna go uh, world by world and and show you the dailies that I do. Oh, uh, I do want to mention too that I made like I was able to afford uh, the, the speckled paintbrush and I was able to like buy all these wearable things um, because I found so as you're clicking around. Um, the site you'll come across random events and they're just things that have like sometimes you'll find neo points randomly sometimes um somebody will like steal a little bit of your neo points um sometimes you'll find things sometimes nothing will happen it'll just you'll just they're just random events and i found two pieces which is crazy because i my account is like very young but I found two pieces of the the lab ray map. So there's, um, it's called the secret laboratory map. There's nine pieces. If you collect all nine, you can go to the lab ray, which is where you can zap your pet once a day and things will happen to it. Like sometimes um, your pet will gain attack, attack points sometimes. Um, it, it's just totally random. Like sometimes your Neopet will change species. Sometimes it will change colors. And some of the colors you can only get from the lab ray. So everybody wants the lab ray. I want the lab ray too. But um, the chances of the lab ray, I really want the robot Bori. And that's, I can only get that from the lab ray. And, but the chances of that happening are so low that I was like, okay, the lab ray is not really important to me right now. Um, I want to get, I want to like gain meal points and kind of build up my, my amount. So I sold them and some of the pieces sell for a lot, a lot of meal points. And that's what happened. So that's how I was able to afford, uh, some of this like more expensive stuff. But, um, I blew like all my meal points and now I'm pretty much back to, uh, not very many at all. So, but that's, I just wanted to mention that. So, okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna go world by world and show you the things that you can do every day to get to get your money. Um, you wanna go to the, the bank and get your interest first thing. That's what I did, I already did that. Um, and then, so there's, it's kind of hard to find because some of the site is converted to like the, their newer layout and some of the site, some of the site is still um, like the old layout and it's kind of, I don't even know how to, like, uh, it's called Trudy's Surprise and, oh here, okay, so Trudy's Surprise. This is like the most important daily, I would say, um, and it's just a thing that you, you just spin it. And this wasn't a thing. I don't know when they implemented this, but it's really awesome that they did because um, I think it, it helps a lot of people <laughs> like for starting out to get some some coin, some money. So you spin it every day and the more days in a row you spin it, you get more and more Neo points and sometimes you, you get like items too. Um, so today I got 19,000 Neo points, okay. Um, and then you do that for 25 days in a row and each day the amount that you get goes up and then I'm pretty sure I didn't know this so I missed a day and then so if you miss a day it goes back to the, the counter restarts and then you start off all over again with like the lower amounts but I'm pretty sure on the 25th day yeah win 100k so I, I think on the 25th day you get a hundred thousand neo points. I, I may be wrong, um, but yeah. And then after you hit that twenty fifth day, it restarts, and then you you build it back up again, and you win like the lower amounts, and you just keep doing that. Like I think this is just a thing that you do every day, and um, yeah. So this is totally important. Even if you uh, don't do anything else on the website, just like log in. 
you can do it on your phone. Just spin Shruti Surprise, get your money, and don't miss a day. That's like the most important one. Okay, so then, so there's a ton of games on here on Neopets, and you win Neo points from each one. I gotta say, this doesn't really work for me. That there's a few games that I think are that are fun that I like to play, but um, I feel like I'll be playing a game for like 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll send my score, and then it'll be like you've won 300 Neo points. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. Like, it's not really worth it to me to for money, the purpose of earning money. Um, but there is one. Uh, so the, there's one called Fashion Fever. Um, and you don't have to do anything. Like, the, the goal of the game is to just dress up your little guy um, but you don't have to. Like, look, you can just leave him just straight up naked, and you go to end game, send score, you win 300 Neo points, and you can do that three times. So that's an easy 900 Neo points a day. Um, when you're just starting out, that's that's great. So let me just quick do this two more times. You've never looked better. You're, you're naked, and you've, you've never looked better. Um. Yeah, so, but again, there's there's so many games on here, and some are, like, actually pretty fun. Like, they're, they're just, like, cute little Flash games. So nostalgic. Um, oh. Okay, so I... I okay, yeah, oh, so this is a random event. Um, and instead of getting 300 points, I got 600 Neo points. And there's a reason why that happened. I, I, can, I can tell you about that. Um... Okay, cool. So I got 600 instead of uh, 300. All right, so that's done. Okay, so that happened. Um, that specific random event happened because I have the premium <clears throat> membership. I did spend my real life money <laughs> to on it. It's eight dollars a month, um, and for me, I play every day. It's it's worth it to me. So. Uh, so you'll get more random events like that, like you find more money laying around um, with the premium membership. Um, you can have one year, so when you're allowed to have six pets, um, it'll give you a seventh, uh, a seventh slot, so you can have seven pets. Um, one, once a year, you can change uh, one of your Neopets species into anything you want, except for a croc or a drake. That's actually how I got <clears throat> Venevix, my hissy, because her, <clears throat> you can only make a hissy one day a year, and I think it's in like April or May, I'm not sure. And I didn't want to wait because I really wanted the hissy, so I changed one of my Neopets into, into her. So that's how I got her. And then there's um like a little, you get a, a, once a week you get like a little scratch off card, that you can win stuff with, and then you get um, the Super Shop Wizard. This is really, I use this all the time. So this is really helpful once you start getting into um, selling, so you can have your own shop on uh, Neopets and where you can like sell things. And aside from dailies, that's for sure how I, I make my money. Um, and there's kind of like a, there's an art and a science to it. So I think I'm going to make a video that's just about like selling stuff in your shop. Um, Cause once you get into it and once you get the hang of it, it's really fun. Um, but yeah, so with the regular shop wizard, when you search for an item, so let's just, let's just say we're looking for the poison tech body. Let's just see. Oh my God. It's so, what? It went down, this was just under a million Neo points, like the last time I checked. That's crazy, that's awesome. Ooh, I could get, maybe I can get the other two pieces like sooner than I thought. Okay, so anyway, so when you use the Super Shop Wizard, it searches all of the shops on Neopets and it'll bring back um, the lowest price for you. When you use the regular Shop Wizard, it only searches like a chunk of shops at a time. 
Um, so you kind of have to do it a, a few times to, to figure out what the lowest price would be. It's just a little, like, extra steps, a little, a little more to it, and the Super Shop Wizard is just way more convenient and faster, in my opinion, so you, you get that with the premium membership. So I think it's worth it. That's just, you know, that's just me. But anyway, that's why when I just played that game, I got extra Neo points because I, ha I have the premium membership and it just makes it so sometimes those random events happen more often for me. So, okay, so we did, truly surprised, we did uh, the net dress up game. So let me just go. So these are the dailies that I do every day. <clears throat> now I may even be missing some. There's probably more than, than what I do. Um, but let's start off with Tyrania, and you're gonna go to the plateau. And I feel like even if you've never played Neopets, the giant omelet is kind of like something that's just in the collective consciousness of, like, everybody knows about the giant omelet. You can grab a piece of omelet every day. Um, oh, I don't know what this one is. There's all different kinds of pieces you can end up with. Some are really rare. I don't know if anybody actually will will buy them because it is just like a free thing you can get every day. But um, get a piece of omelet, grab yourself some some girl dinner, <laughs> and then you can feed your neopet with it, or you can sell it depending on if you want to try to see if somebody will buy it if you get a rare piece. And that's the omelet, girl dinner. And then also you can get a free piece of food if you have to, you can't find this on the map you have to type it in uh, you have to go to neopets.com slash jelly and it'll take you to the secret jelly world uh, and you can get a piece of jelly yeah i want to grab some jelly oh i got some fire jelly i've never gotten fire jelly before Cool. So yeah, you can get your piece of jelly. Um, also, if anybody ever asks you, anybody, you know, a random person comes up to you on the street as, and, and they're like, what do you know about Jelly World? It happens all the time. You have to say, Jelly World doesn't exist. That's just, that's the rules. Jelly World does not exist. Don't, don't ask. It's just, it's just a thing. So those are your two free pieces of food. <clears throat> and then, um, I don't think I'll be able to do this right now, but if you go to the Terror Mountain, and then you go to the ice caves in the corner, there's, um, you wanna go to the Snow Wager, Snow Wager, Snow Wager, this guy in the corner. Okay, so he's awake right now. Three times a day, he falls asleep and then you can go in and you can sneak, you can try to sneak some treasure from him. And sometimes you'll find uh, rare items that you can sell for a lot of money. And I don't remember the, the times off the top of my head, but you, if you go to Jelly Neil, they'll tell you exactly the times that he falls asleep. I don't know if it ever changes, but either way, Jelly Neo, you'll, you can find out when he's asleep and you can try to grab some of his, um, his precious commodities and sell them. Um, <clears throat> so then we can go to Crelador, uh, and there's a little secret clickable spot here, and it's a meteor crash site, and you want to go to take a chance and poke the meteor with a stick. And nothing happened today, but sometimes you'll find uh, items. And sometimes they're a little valuable and you can sell them. That's another thing you can do. Uh, so, okay, Haunted Woods. Um, I love the Haunted Woods. There's, I just, spooky, spooky stuff is kind of like my, my jam here. And then you want to go to the Wanderer Camp. Possibly a little bit problematic calling it the Wanderer Cube. I don't, I don't know, but it's, I, I don't know. And then go to, so apple bobbing you can do every day. I'm going to make a whole video on apple bobbing because something, we need to address something with apple bobbing. I don't want to give it away, 
but you can bob for apples every day, possibly win a little prize, but I'm gonna save that for another video. But you wanna go to Grave Danger, and this, oh, I forgot that I had, uh, so, okay, so Grave Danger, you, if you have a pet pet, if one of your pets has a pet pet, you can send them into this uh, haunted, haunted house, tomb thing, and, um, wait, the chance of being cursed. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Have I been doing this? Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to look into that. But anyways, you send your pet pet into this like haunted house thing and it, it takes anywhere between seven. I've had it as little as seven hours and I've had it as much as nine hours. Um, and your little pet pet will walk around in here and uh, when they're done, they'll bring you uh, they'll bring you a little something. Sometimes uh, it's worth money. So I don't know how much the organ is worth, but let's do it again. Let's send, uh, we'll send Booger this time. Come on, Booger. Let's see what you can, see what you can find in there. <clears throat> oh yeah, and if you check back throughout their time in there, they'll give you little updates and sometimes they're really cute. Like, Booger tried on some mummy bandages. <laughs> like, sometimes they're really cute. So yeah, it'll take seven and a half hours for this little booger here to uh, possibly find something cool that I can sell. <clears throat> so that's... Oh, there's a couple other... Uh, here, I'll go back. Um, if you go to the deserted fairground, there's a couple games you can play. It's like a little carnival thing. Oh yeah, there's scratch cards. Scratch cards are like a whole thing. You can find them in a few different worlds. I've never really messed around with the scratch cards. Um, so I don't know, but you can go to test your strength. I do this one every day. I never win anything good. I don't even know if you can. Jackpot, a million Neo points. I don't know. It costs a hundred to even do it. I just do it every day just to see what happens. Um, ooh, I won 38 meal points. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know if that one's worth it to play, but I just, I do. Um, okay, so let's go to the Lost Desert. And we want to go to Sakmet. And the Fruit Machine. So this is just a little, uh, another little spinny guy. Doesn't cost anything. Um, you very rarely win. I've actually won a thousand Neo points uh, quite a few times. Not quite a few times. A, a few times from here. Um, it's free. Spin it. Maybe you'll get some some money. I didn't get anything today. That's okay. Uh, and then we want to go back. Can I even go back? No. Um, okay. So in the the first part of the Lost Desert, we want to go to Cold Sand's Shrine, and there's a little bit of tea with, with Cold Sand. Cold Sand used to be the, the king of the Lost Desert, and he was, uh, he was straight up murdered. He was murdered. I think by his own stepdaughter. As a, as like a plot point in Neopets. Isn't that crazy? Like, what? He's just straight up, straight up killed? On a game for children? Like, okay. But anyway, so he's dead now, and now you can approach his shrine every day, and he does nice things for you. Um, oh, this this one wasn't that great. Usually he'll, like, increase your pet by a level, or he'll give you some attack or defense, or sometimes he gives you meal points. Today I got some burned food. Uh, maybe it'll be worth something. I don't know. So that's Colts and Shrine. You want to definitely do this one every day too, because this one, um, it's always it's free and it's usually really worth it. So that's another good one. Um, so now we're gonna go to Mystery Island, and we're gonna play Tombola. This is like as old. This is so old. This is so nostalgic. It's just um, you just play. You get a ticket. Um, sometimes you win Neo points. I did not, but I got a bottle of green sand <laughs> as, a, as a prize. That's not gonna be worth anything, but that that's fine. Um, 
yeah, Tombola. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so there's a couple things you can do every day in um, Meridel and is this one called Bright Veil? Yeah, Bright Veil. Um, they're uh, to get avatars. So avatars are another thing you can collect in this game, and they're little, just little pictures that you can use um, as your like meal boards. Uh, avatar and um, I haven't really gotten too much into avatar collecting um, but it's a really big thing like people I think there's 300 300 and some to to find and people are really into collecting them um, and you can get a couple in here I'm not gonna go over that in this because I don't I don't do these every day um, <clears throat> uh, okay so I go to fairyland and there's a few things in here that I do. Um, fairy caverns. It costs 400 Neo points to do this, um, which is most of the time, like, I don't win, but whatever. So you just have to, so there's three, three stages to this, and you just have to pick where you're gonna go. Oh, and I already, <laughs> I already lost. Um, but you, if you pick the right one, then you'll go to the next. You pick right or left, and then you'll pick one more time, and then if you get the right combination, um, you find treasure. And I think it's just randomized and different, like there's not a set, you can't look it up and, and see which one you should do, it's just different every day and, and randomized, so. Anyway, that's the Fairy Caverns, that was a bust today, but that's okay. Um, there's a wheel, there's a few different wheels you can spin throughout um, the site. And this is the Wheel of Excitement. I do this one, the, I don't really do the other ones very often, but I usually hit this one like once or twice a day. <clears throat> it costs 500 Neo points to spin. Um, ooh, I almost won that 20,000. Okay, so I won 400 Neo points, so a net loss. Um, but I hit 2,500 pretty often on this. Um, I either hit the question mark, which you'll always win Neo points, but it will always be less than 500. Um, I hit that one the most often, and I hit 2,500 most often. So, you know, that's just, it's not really something that you have to do every day. It's just, you know, I just do it every day. Um, I hit up the healing springs as often as I can. Uh, you can, every half hour, you can come in here and buy something for your pet and I always do the icy snowball it costs five neo points um and they sell every time for 500 because they're battle dome items and they're like one-time use I think so people like to stock up on them before they do battle dome things um and I've never I think people just like I think if you once you get into the battle dome you're kind of more like established as a you, like, you kind of know what you're doing a little more. You probably have a little more Neo points, and, you, and they don't mind spending 500 for uh, the snowball. They, I put them in my shop, and they're gone like immediately. So I do that as often as I can because it makes me some money. Um, and then what else is there? Oh, the the discarded magical blue Grundo plushie. He's so cute. He's just this little guy, <laughs> and um. You can talk to him, and Venevix is so excited to visit that she forgets she was hungry. Okay, so this one, that's fine, um, but usually I get pretty lucky with this guy. Like, I almost always get some Neo points out of talking to him. Um, that happens to me most often, and then sometimes he'll, uh, I'll find, like, a little item. Um, so, but mostly I, I get lucky and I get Neo points from this guy, so... Yeah, hell yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's also something that I do in here every day. This is a great way to get money. Um, the employment agency. I don't know if I'll do that in this video because there's kind of... It, it, I feel like I should maybe talk about it in a little more depth. Um, but if you go to the employment agency and then basic jobs, so you'll you'll see all these different things that they want you to to find 
um, and there's quite a few pages of it. I think they change every 10 minutes. Yeah, job listings refresh every 10 minutes. Um, I don't know if that means they're different every 10 minutes or if they just kind of like reappear. <clears throat> but um, so you go through here and you'll want, you kind of have to, it's, it's easy to gauge, but you kind of have to, to gauge what would be worth it. So, um, okay, so this one, for example, uh, they want you to bring four of this pack of pumpkin seeds and your reward will be 732 Neo points. I have a feeling that if you find getting four of these pumpkin seeds would cost more than your reward. So don't do that one. You want to you want to look for the ones that like have a really good payout. Um, this one's got a pretty good payout. I thought I saw one on the first page that stuck out to me. Um, <clears throat> okay, so they want you to find just two of this visor, which is a very basic thing you can find in the uni's clothing shop. Um, but let's use the super shop wizard. So we've got a base reward of 3,500 needle points. And if you do it, there's a, a time bonus. So with the shop wizard, I'm going to be able to do this in like 20 seconds. So let's see how much I can buy two visors for. Oh, this one actually wouldn't be that, that good of a... Okay, interesting. So a visor is selling for 2,900 needle points. So that would actually not be profitable. We're not gonna do that one. Okay, good to know. I didn't think that was gonna be the case. Um, Rainbow Chia Pop. I feel like this would be cutting it close. Uh, let's see. I don't think this one would be profitable either. We can see. <clears throat> um, oh, totally. Uh, six, kind of. No, I would. I would make a little bit of neo, uh, a little bit of money on this because I would be able to do it so fast. So I would get that time bonus. Um, but it's cutting a little too close. I don't want. I. I won't do it. I would probably do it if I wasn't filming right now. Um, but if I'm gonna show you one, I want to show you one that it's gonna be like really, really worth it. Find three of pea and ham baby food. All right, let's see what we got. Let's, let's see if we can make some money. Four, how many do I need? Three. How much would I get? Four. Yeah, I would make money on this one too, but not a ton. I want to show you one that would say it's like, wow, like. Hello? Hello, internet? Um, yeah, nothing's really jumping up. This one, maybe? Green scale. There's also, um, collectible little trading cards in this game and people collect those too. There's so many different things to collect. Uh, so I need two of them. Let's see how much they sell for. Probably a, a lot. Yeah, I would, I would basically, yeah, I would make a little bit, but not a ton. Um, well, this just isn't working out the way. Two, find two baby doll or 5,800 Neo points. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my God. Okay, well, I'll just do it anyway. I'll make a little bit of money, but not a ton, but I'll, I'll just show you. So we're gonna go to this person's shop. We're gonna buy two of these little guys here. job got the job I had the things already so I got a lot of time bonus um, so I made uh, 7,250 Neo points on that so I did make a little bit of money on that 
Um, and I think you can do four jobs a day. Um, I do them, I do as many as I can every day. I kind of go through and I crunch the numbers and I see what would be the most profitable. And that's really been a great way that I've made um, some needle points. So that's the employment agency. There's also, um, I like, this uh, super jobs require a job coupon. I don't know what this is. I, I don't know. So I think these are like, the payout would be more, but the items I assume would also be more. So I don't know. I haven't fucked around with this too, at all, uh, but I, I will eventually. But for right now, I'm just doing the basic jobs and that's been working out great for me so far. Um, okay, what else? Okay, so now we're gonna go to Marakwa, which is the underwater world. And we go to Marakwin Ruins. And for some reason, this world, for me, takes a lot longer to load. I don't, I don't know why, uh, but it happens every time. So then we're gonna go to Underwater Fishing. And I'm pretty sure you can only do this once a day because anytime I try to do it more than once a day, I don't catch any, I don't catch any, like anything. And they're like, maybe you should be more patient. So I'm pretty sure that means you can just do it once a day. Um, oh, if you hear heavy breathing in the mic, that's my, this is my, my real pet has come to join me, my dog, Reggie. Um, who is just always breathing very heavily right in my face, right, bud? Hi, bud. Did you come to say hi? Hi, I love you. Can you lay down? Can you lay down, bud? I know you're so sweet. Okay, so anyway, so, um, yeah. Reel in your line. Let's see what she catches. Oh, I got a, a lesser spotted fish. These sell. These will sell in your shop for, I think, like 600 Neo points. Um, yeah, and you can do this with every one of your pets. So there's a chance that all of your pets will catch something that will be worth something. I'm not gonna go through all of them. That would just take too long and you know, you don't need to watch me do it like seven times. But yeah, once a day, all your pets, they can catch something and you can sell it in your shop if it's worth anything. Um, so that's Maracqua. I love Maracqua. Let's see if there's any pet pets in stock because they're so cute. Let's just see. I just wish I knew why it took so long to load. Hello? Hello? Oh, you sold out. Okay. I was hoping I could show you some cute, some cute little underwater pet pets, but that's fine. Okay, so what's left? <clears throat> oh, croc. Okay, so now my last one that I do every day is uh, Croc Island. There's two things you can do. Uh, the Governor's Mansion. And then you go to, I'll give it a shot. And then uh, Anchor Management is what the little game here is called. And uh, you go to Fire. And yeah, sometimes it gives you a little item. I got a pocky Pinata. Let's see. Let's just see if it's worth anything. Probably not. A lot of the times, these things aren't worth anything because so many people are getting them. Um, 330 new. Okay, so it sells for a little, little bit of coin. Um, I'll probably just just keep it and put it in my safety deposit box um, where I hoard all of my my items until I figure out what I want to do with them. Um, so that's the governor's mansion then. So there's a little secret clickable spot right here next to Smuggler's Cove. Um, you do have to find nine pieces of another map. It's, uh, I think it's just called the, oh shoot, what is it called? Like, this, I don't know, like something shore treasure map or something. They're really easy to find. Um, 
People put them in the money tree all the time. People sell them in their shops for really cheap, like 25 neo points for each piece. It's really easy to collect, so it's not like a super exclusive, hard to get into thing. Um, so yeah, I... Oh, so, okay, a random event. I found 1,912 neo points on the ground. Neat. Okay, so you want to visit the shore. I have never found something here. I've never gotten anything, but I'm, from what I understand, uh, you can find morphing potions, you can find, I think, drake eggs here, I'm pretty sure, and those are worth a lot, a lot, a lot of neo points. So I'm hoping one day I'll get lucky and I'll find something really valuable, um, but I, I do this every day and I have never found anything from doing that. But, I mean, whatever. That's part of the, that's part of the game, part of the, you know, part of the deal. Um, yeah, that's all my, I think that's all my dailies that I, that I do every day. Uh, am I missing anything? No, no, I don't think so. That's, like I said, there's probably things that I'm missing, like there's other things to do every day, but that's just what I do. Um, and yeah, that's, those are my dailies. Um, so I want to talk, okay, so let's see. I want to make a video on selling things in your shop um, for sure. I think, I think I want to do a video where I just kind of go around each world and point out like the, the different shops and um, what, you can, what you can find in each world. Um, I definitely want to do that. I have some ideas for like some, they're not, it's not like a let's play Neopets thing. It's more like a Neopets themed video. Um, and I think they're kind of funny. So I don't want to give them away, but I, I think, I think people may get a laugh or two out of them. So I want to do that. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's it for, for this video. Uh, you know, just going around doing my dailies. Um, I hope you, you know, learned <laughs> learned something that maybe you didn't maybe you didn't know was there. Or um, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm still. I still don't really know how to do this whole YouTube thing. I'm. I'm learning. I'm learning how to. I'm learning. Um, thank you for, for, you know, coming by and, and checking out my videos. Thank you so much again to everybody who left a nice comment on my first video and everybody who subscribed and, and liked the video. I, again, I was totally not expecting that to happen, but it was like, it just, uh, it warmed my little, my little heart. And, um, I'll be back with more videos and, uh, yeah, have a, have a fucking fantastic weekend. And good luck, um, good luck finding some money, getting some money on Neopets. Um, I hope you get really lucky with all of your dailies. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, oh, okay, okay, bye. <laughs>